problem. City Bank pa rin tayo. This is the fifth problem for the City Bank. Magkakadugtong po ang ating mga topics. So, Angie, the branch manager of City Bank, and she wants to improve the service of the bank by replacing the teller with an ATM. She observed that the average arrival and the average number of clients serviced per hour remain the same. Because an ATM processes according to a fixed cycle, she presumed that the service rate distribution is now constant. So, ayun naman para, no? Ayun yung reason kung bakit naging MD1 yung model natin. Dahil pinalitan niya yung teller, no? Tinanggal si teller or tinanggal doon sa position, pwede nilipat ang ibang position. And ginawang ATM na yung kaharap sa ating mga clients. Now, uh, kaya naging fixed siya, no? Constant ang ating service time distribution. The figures are summarized in the table on the next slide. The question is, how many clients are waiting to be served? How much time does a client are waiting? How many clients are at the ATM at any given time? And how much does a client spend at the ATM? What is the probability that the ATM is occupied? Or rather, the ATM is busy? That is just the same. What is the probability that there are no clients? Or Hello everyone, welcome to our presentation regarding the application of our third model which is MD1 of the queuing theory in the POMQM or the POMCOM software. So let's start our discussion. So again, model number 3, MD1. So the MD1 notation represents for the arrival distribution, this is just the same with the first and the second model natin, that is Poisson distribution. While for the service time distribution, it will be now constant. No? So D stands here as constant, meaning pare-pareho po yung service time na binibigay ng server natin sa ating client. Mamaya, malalaman natin kung bakit naging constant ito. Depende sa ating problem. Okay? And for the number of service channels open, we have here one. Okay? So, one server. And here's the problem. City bank pa rin tayo. This is the fifth problem for the city bank. Magkakadugtong po ang ating mga topics. So, Angie, the branch manager of city bank, and she wants to improve the service of the bank by replacing the teller with an ATM. She observed that the average arrival and the average number of clients serviced per hour remain the same. Because an ATM processes according to a fixed cycle, she presumed that the service rate distribution is now constant. So, ayun naman para, no? Ayun yung reason kung bakit naging MD1 yung model natin. Dahil pinalitan niya yung teller, no? Tinanggal si teller or tinanggal doon sa position, pwede nilipat ang ibang position. And ginawang ATM na yung kaharap sa ating mga clients. Now, uh, kaya naging fixed siya, no? Constant ang ating service time distribution. The figures are summarized in the table on the next slide. The question is, how many clients are waiting to be served? How much time does a client are waiting? How many clients are at the ATM at any given time? And how much does a client spend at the ATM? What is the probability that the ATM is occupied? Or rather, the ATM is busy? That is just the same. What is the probability that there are no clients? Or the P sub 0. Okay, so we have here the data given, number of ATMs is 1, yung value niya, for the arrivals per hour, that is lambda, 11, and for the service per hour, that is 12. Based on our manual computations before, here are the statistics table. L sub Q is 5.04, that is the average clients waiting online and not on the whole system. Well, the average waiting hours of those clients in the line and not on the system as a whole, kasi pag sinabing system, ulitin ko po, kasama yung server, is 0 0.4583. Number of clients in the system, ito na yung kasama yung server, 5.9584. Kaya nga, guys, kung titignan nyo, no, yung L, or this is L sub S sa POMCOM, and W, or this is W sub S sa POMCOM, itong dalawa ay laging mas malaki sa, da sa dalawang ito, sa L sub Q and W sub Q. Kaya kung titignan ninyo, no, W, uh, average hours clients spends in the system, 0 0.54. Dito, 0 0.45. Dahil ito nasa pila lang. Ito nasa pila plus yung nasa server. Okay? Same with this one. Average clients waiting online, 5.04. Pero pag in the system na, 5.95. Dahil ito, yung gaano karami nakapila, 
Tapos ito, gaano, yung, gaano kami nakapila plus yung nasa server. Okay? That is the difference. Then the raw probability that the ATM is busy, we have here 0.92. And the probability that there are no client is 0.08. Okay? So as you can see, no, if you're going to add this probability that the ATM is busy and the probability that there are no clients and total is to 1. No? 100%. That is the statistics table. And for the data table, for the cost table natin, we have here the service cost per ATM that is $5 per hour. $6 per hour naman ang cost of waiting natin while the working hours per shift is equivalent to 8. Okay? Upon our manual computation, after our manual computation, we have sold before that the total cost per hour is 3524 and let's see if ganyan din ba yung magiging resulta ng ating software application using POMQM software. Okay, so let's go now to our software. So we are now here on our software and just like on our previous presentation regarding the POMCOM application of viewing theory, we should first set the module into waiting lines. Oops, I have clicked the work measurement anyway. So waiting lines and file, then click new. Since this is MD1, constant service time, click this number 2 MD1 enter okay so let's have here city bank number five and six since this is five and six ang aaralin natin with use cost no make sure that you have uh click the use cost option under cost analysis and click okay so we have here for the arrival rate we have 11 for the service per hour that is 12. For the number of servers, we have 1. And for the server cost, based on our given previously on our PowerPoint presentation, we have the server cost or the dollars per hour or per time that is 5. And the waiting cost, dollars per time is 6. So after having the data, no, click solve. And we have here the final answers. For average server utilization, guys, if you if you can see, no, this is just the same with the probability that the ATM is BC. So 0 0.92. Let's check on our PowerPoint presentation. That is 0 0.92. ATM is BC. Okay. So for the LQ 5.04, WQ 0 0.45, L sub S and W sub S is 5.95 and 0 0.54. Let's see if parehas ito. So we have here LQ 504, WQ 4.46, 596LS, WS 5, uh, 0 0.54. So same. No, parehong pareho po yung mga nakuha natin. For the costing rather, no, we have here the labor cost plus number ng of waiting in the line times yung waiting cost 35.25. And that is the same with this. No, yung na-compute natin total cost. It just so happened na meron siya ditong 40.75 dahil po dito is ang kinumpute nito yung kasama sa buong system. No, including the server. Yung current na nasa server na client kung ilan sila. No, anyway, isa lang naman ang server. So, 1 is to 1 lang yan. And yung total cost nyo is 40.75. Wala po tayo na to sa manual. Na if you wanted to have, pwede rin naman i-add natin yun. Okay? And now, guys, as you can see, ayun lang yung naging output ni Pomcom. No, wala siyang output na iba pang mga tables. Wala na eh. Ayan no, wala na. Wala rin yung mga graphs. Wala rin yun. Kasi, ang reason po is that ang model natin dito is constant. No, MD1. Ayan no, constant service times. Meaning to say, ano yung igagraph mo? E eh, constant nga yung service time. E eh, just so happen na on our first and second model, meron tayong ginagraph doon dahil we are assuming na ang service time distribution is exponentially distributed, nagbabago exponentially no, yung service time. Dito kasi, yung service time natin is constant. Bakit? Dahil nga, pinalitan natin yung teller ng ATM. 
no makina na yung kumakausap sa kliyente makina na yung ka interact ng client that's why constant na siya and we don't need to have the graph anymore dahil yung data na yan mga numbers na yan is enough na to understand kung ano man yung nangyari doon sa queuing system natin Okay, I hope you understand and that actually ends our discussion regarding the application of our model number 3, MD1, the constant service time distribution on our software which is the POMQM or the POMCOM software. I hope you're learning guys. Keep safe always. Thank you for being with me on this presentation. Goodbye and have a great day ahead.